Today I'm going to be making rabbit shakuti. So this is the marinade for the meat. Green chilies, garlic cloves and ginger which I will grind now and marinate the rabbit meat with. So this is the rabbit meat which is a kilo. Since I will not be using the whole of it, I'm going to cut it down the center. So I've cut half of the rabbit. I'm using this half. I'm going to cut it in smaller pieces now. So now I'm going to add the ground masala, green chilies, garlic cloves and ginger to the rabbit that I have washed. Mix it and leave to marinate for any time from half an hour should do. A bit of oil. In this bowl I have my spices. First we'll start with the dry red chilies followed by all the other spices. In go the dry red chilies. Remember not to burn your spices, so low flame. I'm going to add in the rest. After roasting these ingredients, we're going to roast the dried or desiccated coconut and then grind them all together once they are all cooled with the small onion that I have chopped, the garlic and ginger. So I've kept my spices in the bowl that's next to the three other ingredients I'm going to grind them with after it's cooled. The pan has reheated, I'm going to add in the coconut. You're going to roughly need about one coconut's worth of desiccated coconut. Dry roast it. Once it's cooled, you will add it to your roasted spices. Constantly stir coconut to prevent burning. Constantly stir coconut to prevent burning. This is the beautiful golden color your coconut should have, roasting it. Turn off the flame since the heat will cook it further if you leave it in the pan. Once it's cooled, grind it. Add a bit of water to this mixture, you'll want a coarse paste ground. It has not fully ground yet, I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now, on to our actual cooking process of our rabbit. The pot's heating up after which I will add the oil and the onions. Cook it till it's translucent and then I will add in the tomatoes. The oil is hot, I'm going to add in the onions. Your onions have to be translucent before you add in the tomatoes. Tomatoes. Cook your tomatoes until they are soft. Then we will add in the rabbit, which has been marinating for half an hour. The tomatoes are soft. This is our rabbit. Cook the rabbit for two minutes on high. Then we will add in our ground masala. Time to add in the ground masala. The masala has been cooking for a minute. I'm going to add in about one and a half cups of water. Stir it. I'm going to add in my tamarind water. Now this is going to cook for 45 minutes to 50 minutes or until the rabbit has cooked and the liquid has bubbled down to a consistency that I like. Check for salt now. The curry has bubbled down a bit. I'm going to add in two sprigs of curry leaves and leave to cook for another half an hour or so. And our rabbit shakuti is ready. Coriander for garnishing. It smells delicious.